Today's video is one of the most intense and emotional cases we face in the NICU. A baby born with thick meconium stained liquor, also known as MSL. This is a situation where every second matters, every breath matters, and even one moment of delay can change everything. In this case, the baby was struggling to breathe right after birth, and what happened next will show you how critical and life-saving quick medical action can be. So stay with me till the end as I take you through this dramatic, real-life NICU scenario, MSL baby struggling to breathe, and how quick suction saved the day. Before we jump into the case, let's quickly understand what is meconium stained liquor? During a normal pregnancy, the baby stays inside the womb surrounded by clear amniotic fluid. But in some cases, especially during stressful moments before delivery, the baby passes its first stool, called meconium, inside the womb. This turns the water greenish, yellowish, or sometimes very thick and dark. This is what we call MSL, meconium stained liquor. Why is it dangerous? because the baby can inhale this meconium into the lungs before or during birth. And meconium is very sticky, thick, and harmful. It blocks the airway, reduces oxygen supply, and can cause severe breathing difficulty. If not managed immediately, it can even lead to serious infections or life-threatening complications. Now let's come to the real case. It was a busy day in the labor room. Multiple deliveries were happening at the same time. Suddenly, we received a call. Doctor, thick MSL case. Baby not crying. Immediately, we rushed to the delivery room. As soon as we arrived, we could see the amniotic fluid thick, green, muddy, and foul smelling. This was not mild MSL. This was grave slash thick MSL, the most dangerous kind. The nurse handed over the newborn to us, and from the very first second, we knew this was serious. The baby was and not crying, and not breathing properly. Chest was moving weakly, but in this case, everything was weak. The heart rate was dropping. The baby's chest wasn't expanding. The airway was full of thick meconium. At this point, we had seconds to act, not minutes. We quickly transferred the newborn to the radiant warmer. The entire NICU team was ready, a one nurse checking the oxygen, another setting up suction, Another preparing the airway equipment. A senior doctor ready for intubation if needed. In such cases, teamwork saves lives. We gently opened the baby's mouth. A huge amount of thick green meconium was visible. It was everywhere, sticking to the tongue, covering the throat, blocking the airway. We immediately inserted the suction catheter. The sound of suction started, SHHHH, slowly, Thick green paste-like meconium began coming out. Each suction pass cleared a bit more. With every pass, the baby tried to take a small breath, but still couldn't. We continued, a mouth suction, nose suction, deep or pharyngeal suction. After a few seconds, the air passages began to clear. But then, as we approached deeper suction, suddenly, a large thick chunk of meconium came out. This was the actual blockage. The moment that chunk came out, we noticed a slight improvement in the chest rise. But we weren't done. The baby's chest expanded fully. A proper, deep breath. This was the first positive sign. Heart rate started rising. Color improved from blue-pink. The baby made a small cry. Not full, but enough to tell us we were winning. Everyone in the room felt relief. But we continued supporting the baby with oxygen and monitoring. Since the baby had thick MSL and needed advanced suction, we shifted the newborn to NICU for observation. During transport, baby was kept warm, oxygen was provided, continuous monitoring was done. Your baby had thick meconium inside the lungs, causing severe breathing difficulty. We had to do deep suction and immediate resuscitation. But alhamdulillah, the baby responded well. In thick MSL cases, if suction is not done immediately, meconium can block the airways, lungs can collapse, severe respiratory distress can happen, baby can develop pneumonia, oxygen levels can drop dangerously low, permanent lung damage can occur. In worst cases, it can be fatal. That's why quick suction is a life-saving step. Every time we handle an MSL baby, it reminds us how delicate life is. 
One moment the baby is inside the mother's womb, safe and protected.